Good morning YouTube, how are we? And I hope everyone is well. And for those of you that have seen my last video, you will know that I've returned back to the UK for a couple of weeks for the Christmas period. And one of the main things, one of the main reasons that I've returned back over the Christmas period for is I'm spending three days at the Centre Parks in Sherwood Forest. Now I have been here many years ago, but I do have to admit on this occasion, my sister has taken care of most of the planning and preparation. I have a rough idea of some of the activities that we're gonna be doing, but most of it is gonna be random and spontaneous. And so I thought while I was here, why not put together a short vlog and see what Centre Park's Sherwood Forest is all about. Okay, this is gonna be adventure number one, which is the treetop adventure. Not really sure what's in store. All I know is I'm not very good with heights, but my sister bought me it for Christmas, so I've gotta go through with it. I'm sure everything will be okay. Safety briefing done, helmet on, harness on, up we go. This is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. But my nine year old niece is doing it, so. I wish I'd have filmed more on the GoPro, but you need two hands at all times. So if you're coming on here, bring your GoPro helmet attachment. Okay, we made it to the top. Now the final zip line. Wish us all luck. Survived the zip line, that was amazing, really enjoyed it. Oh, it's really cold as we're coming across. I couldn't record, unfortunately, but I'm now gonna record my sister and Gracie coming across. Way! <laughs> That was amazing, loved it. Took us about an hour to get round. Was a bit scary in certain places, shall I say, but just work your way around slowly. Highly recommend it if you're coming to Centre Parks. Now, I need to go get a drink. Not sure if a warm drink or a stiff drink. Calm the nerves. Apparently, one of the things you must do when you're at Centre Parks is hire a bike or you can either bring your own and explore. They have over 400 acres of woodland tracks and parks to explore. As with all the activities and the restaurants, things like that, it is recommended to book in advance, which I never did, but with the bikes, they have over 3000. So apparently it's not an issue if you need to hire them when you get here. This one was 36 pound um, and that's for up to two and a half days. So haven't made much use out of it now. So let's go explore. Centre Parks by bike. Before that though, yesterday we hit the other main attraction here at Centre Parks, which is the indoor swimming pool, or the subtropical paradise as it is known. Now it is December, it's two degrees at the moment, so going swimming at six o'clock in the evening seemed a little bit crazy, but Centre Parks are certainly not wrong when they say a subtropical paradise, because it is heated to 29 and a half degrees all year round. Inside, you have the tropical cyclone, you have the wild river rapids, you have lots of family rides, a huge swimming pool, hot tubs, jacuzzis, and um, it's a really fantastic area. You couldn't get too much footage inside there because I found out halfway round that you're not allowed your GoPro, but I hope you enjoy this footage, which I did manage to take.
there we have the pool footage and now for the bike footage please guys if you are enjoying this video please do hit the like button much appreciated Geese crossing, that's pretty cool. Always a straggler. Last day is here and it's time to pack up and leave, unfortunately. Had a fantastic time and it's been a great way to spend three days with the family just before Christmas. We've managed to fit a lot in. We've done the American diner, the pancake house. Activity-wise, we did the aerial treetop trekking. That's a mouthful. That has the three zip lines there. We did the subtropical paradise swimming pool, bowling, indoor climbing, cycling, lots of walking, and not forgetting a trip to see Santa. Even though we managed all that, we barely touched the surface on the activities that you can do at Centre Park, so we'll have to return one day and tick a few more things off the list. I'm going to leave you with a video montage now of my last three days here at Centre Parks. But before I do that, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the accommodation that we stayed in. I should have done this before when we arrived, but better late than never. Okay, let's go explore this four bedroomed executive lodge. Okay, lodge tour, here we go. So just for reference, this is the lodge we were in, 874. Open plan kitchen, dining, living space there. You have a fire where you can buy the logs from the shop. Big TV, comfy sofa. This was my room, downstairs double. Nice ensuite bathroom you have there. TV in every room. Check out the wallpaper, very snazzy. Very well equipped kitchen there. You have a Tassimo coffee machine. Not as good as the Nespresso ones. The games room. Oh, another TV over there. Sofa, and outside you have outside terrace, barbecue, and here you have a sauna. Unfortunately, never managed to get in there this time. Ran out of time. Okay, so that's downstairs. Let's head upstairs where here you have three bedrooms. Let's go right. This one is a twin and all of them have their own ensuite bathrooms. All very similar style, all modern, nice, clean, tidy with everything you need. Well, except you don't get shampoo and shower gel, which I thought you would. This one has its own little terrace. Views to the forest, has everywhere. Then the second double, again with the terrace over there, TV, ensuite bathroom. It's really nice. And then the final twin, again with the ensuite bathroom over there. Really couldn't fault the accommodation. Linen, towels, everything provided here, all very comfy. Everything you need for a perfect stay three or four nights. Okay guys, on that note, I'm gonna leave the vlog there. I have to check out the villa. 
Um, please, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. I've enjoyed my time here. Please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and appreciate everything. So yeah. Also, let me know your comments in the box below. Have you been to Centre Parks? Um, have you got any tips for other people that will be going to Centre Parks? Please just share your information in the box below. Okay, guys, thanks once again, and I will see you in the next vlog. Cheers. Bye.